Matt Lenehan Boxing Social in association with Forged Irish Stout, FreeBets.com, Empire Fights. So we're here, Liam Dillon, look, headlining the show. We've got Reese Bellotti stood in front of you this weekend. I remember the first time I spoke to you at Wasserman show. At the back end, you had cameras left, right and centre. You must have done about 50 interviews. You are lapping it up. Is this sort of that next step, that springboard you were hoping for? Yeah, it's a massive opportunity, um, headlining a matchroom show. I mean, matchroom done the best shows when I was growing up. And British title fights were always the best. And I think it was especially when the British title got unified with the Commonwealth, they were always like a big thing. So, yeah, it was like a boyhood dream come true. Yeah. Here, yeah. But look, it's, as much as it's a dream come true, you're here to do business. And you've got, like you mentioned there, British Commonwealth. And you've got a guy like Reese Bellotti who's there in your way, who's seasoned campaigner. Um, many people, obviously, we know what he's about over the years. How much do you fancy your chances in getting this fight, getting this victory on Saturday night? I see myself being victorious by the end of it. I think it's going to be a good scrap. I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, Reese comes to fight. I like to come to fight. So, yeah, man, I'm looking forward to just meeting in the centre of the ring and just going for it. You like a war. We saw it in the last fight. You like to stand there and yeah. give a bit. But does this fight, um, because of the, I suppose, every fight's important, but because of the importance of this and the British, have you got to be a little bit more calculated? Yeah, I mean, I'm always cautious. I mean, there's always nerves. I mean, I don't get it when people say they're not nervous. I think there's always going to be a little it's bit. It's good nervous, isn't it, though? Isn't, that, yeah. isn't the nervous energy that keeps you sharp? Yeah, it's just that sort of like, oh, mate. But you do get that, like, oh, I shouldn't be here sort of thing. But... Um, yeah, man, I'm just really... I know when that bell goes, I'm just going to be doing what I love doing in front of everyone who I want to be there on, on TV as well. I mean, it's, yeah. I remember the last time we spoke, you were like, I think you had work on Monday or yeah. something, and you were like, I've got to go back to work. Surely if you get this fight out of the way, and this is not me saying that looking past Reese, by the way, because I'll have to say, have a conversation with him as well, but this may be then stops the end of you working another job and then you can now kick on and really just fully focus on it I, I told my employer win, lose or draw I'll be at work Monday no way no way yeah, yeah, you, if you win this fight you're going back to work this Monday this is the first fight I've ever had where I've, I've taken time off for training for the last four weeks I've um, been full boxing just training three times a day I've had a nutritionist on board this is the first time I've actually have you felt much different in yourself then? Has it felt better? Have you, felt, have you, you know, when you're coming into fight week? Because obviously you weren't doing your jobs taxing anyway without then going and having a dust up with someone. So with all that extra stuff, have you felt a bit more fresher coming into it? Oh, mate, yeah. Every training session has been like, I'm energised. Where I'm so used to like going to work, then Feeling going fast. training, and then sometimes going training again. Or sometimes I've, been, I've gone to work and like gone and sparred like Cordina or Lee Wood or someone like that straight away. And I'm like, mate, I'm, I'm shattered. And my... My coach is like, well, just quickly try and liven yourself up. I mean, I've got to try and warm it up. I can't even bother to warm up. But I feel like with this camp, where I've had four weeks off work, every training session I felt energised, you know, and I've had a nutritionist telling me what to eat, when to eat. I've, yeah. Mate, everything's just been on point. Yeah. You mentioned you sparring there. You mentioned the likes of uh, Lee Wood. Um, what's it like sparring these guys? Do you take away confidence from them spars, knowing that when you do get to a stage like this, that you'll be able to sort of seize that opportunity? Yeah, I mean, it's just great learning, you know, especially sparring like top world champions you know and the fact that they're even asking me for sparring it's just like mate this is a good game I must be doing something right <laughs> Lee Lee would obviously say they're talking about a potential rematch with Josh Warrington so can I get your opinion on that fight if the rematch happens I believe it's at 1.30 I think they're both quite happy about that um, what do you think happens uh, I, personally I reckon Lee would stop him again I mean I remember sparring Lee in prep for that fight and that south or right hook he caught me with it. I was a bit like, oh wow, it was stiff. So when he landed there, I thought there's no way he's getting back up. No, yeah. You got a final message to your fans um, before this weekend? You got a message to these people who are coming down to support you? Yeah, thank you to everyone that's uh, coming down. I'm, this show sold out really quickly. I, I reckon I could have done another 100 tickets, but to everyone watching at home and who's coming to support me, I'm going to show you it'll be a good night. But Liam, it's um, always a pleasure speaking to you. We did a good first interview, a good second. Let's see what happens. It's a tough fight on Saturday, but we look forward to seeing it. Appreciate you talking to Boxing Social. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. We need to think of a new advert for freebets.com. Get your best betting offers from freebets.com. Yeah, that'll do. The following deals are now live.